Hello, everybody. Welcome to the session. This is a requested session for working with anxiety. And so I thought I would use a few crystals and a, um, it's not really a hypnotic technique, but it's a technique for um, you to use within yourself to help curb any thoughts that might be occurring, any emotions that might be occurring that are kind of setting you off or triggering you. So let's get started. All right, we're going to use a little sage to clean our spaces. That lit it really, really good. mine cleared as well. some fresher sage so I am just trying to tamper it out and it didn't want to go out <laughs> all right so now let's make our intention with the candle you like wood sounds. I really find them soothing. Again, I'm dedicating this session to helping you reduce anxiety, to help you not feel like a victim to your anxiety. I want you to feel like you have more control over how you feel. And if you have something else that you want to put, put into this, you can do so now by placing it into the flame, as long as it's for the highest and finest good of all. I'm going to take the candle around to help begin that fire element process of clearing. So again, today I have two selenites. We're going to start with my selenite wand. And I'm just going to take it through your field. So 
see if I'm going to get behind you too. I'm going to see if there's anything enlightening that I can, that I can find. Here. I'm just going to do a little assessment to see where the anxiety has manifested itself in the body. Wondering if you get headaches. Because other people are watching this too. This might be for other people as well, but it's the digestive area like um, first and second type chakra areas. So maybe like IBS. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Let's do a little plucking. symbols into the session just prior to the beginning. Just wanting you to, to know that. So now I'm going to ask you to do the hand breathing technique because most of this is coming from your thoughts. And so I want you to, whenever I bring my hand towards the camera, camera's going to adjust oddly, but breathe in. When I take my hand back, you breathe out all that negative, all those negative beliefs, thoughts, energy into the hand. And I We'll throw it into the candle flame, okay? So go ahead and breathe in. And breathe out, letting it all go. Just letting that relaxation seep in. Breathing in. And out. In. Letting go. One more time in and out. Good. All right. So now I'm going to use a little amber. And I may not say all the crystal names. I'll, I'll put them on the screen. But amber is good for grounding. And when we're anxious, we're definitely ungrounded. So let's move into a more grounded state. Just 
imagining. Becoming more grounded, those roots from your spine moving into the earth. And I want you to notice how your big toe feels. Just notice how that big toe feels. Probably didn't even think about it a moment ago. Then move your attention to maybe how your calf feels. And see how much more you can relax it by just being with it. By just being with it. And just noticing how your tummy feels. Is it relaxed? Is there a little pain or discomfort? Hopefully there, that it's comfortable there. But if not, it still serves as something that can help you ground. Just notice how your neck feels. Are you comfortable? Is your neck comfortable? Do you need to adjust? And do a little self-care by adjusting. Moving a pillow or moving it away. Making yourself feel more comfortable. Because you matter. And this helps calm the mind. There's a little trick that I actually use, and I think it works really well. So I think it would be a good time to share it with you. And actually, I didn't develop this. It is a form of stop thought. However... Mel Robbins has her infant, infamous, I'm not saying that right, um, 5 4 3 2 1 technique. And what you do is when you realize your mind is going into a state of anxiousness, or your body is going into a state of anxiousness. meaning the emotion that you might be feeling. You immediately stop and say, five, four, three, two, one. You can do this in your head or out loud. And then say some sort of phrase or word to help you just switch back to what you were doing. Okay, so maybe you were working on a project, and all of a sudden your mind wandered into an anxious state. Five, four, three, two, one. Reset. And when you say reset, you allow your mind to go back into that project, into whatever you were doing, where you had been okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Reset. Okay. 
And I want you to practice that at least three times a day. Even if you don't need it. Because it will be there for you immediately. Sometimes things like this are a little progressive. So it may take a few times for you to actually feel that working. Just going to hold this up. I'm going to use that technique a few times in this session. Now, I always like to use this, this crystal when I've got a lot of thoughts and belief systems that are kind of entrapping me into a smaller self. I, I think it helps untangle all of that. Helps me to feel better, better. It is a crystal known for love qualities. Five, four, three, two, one. I am safe. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I know when I was you know, I might have been a few years in working with hypnosis and I was using stop thought with a customer and learned what not to do. It's not funny, but I'm, I'm laughing because it's over and it was a learning experience. But I had been taught this, and I'm just can't believe they teach this. Is that I didn't have these blocks, but my trainer had two big blocks, just of wood. And he, you know, if somebody volunteered to be anxious about something, they'd get in the middle of their story, he'd take these two blocks and go BAM! And not really realizing because the person the person he was doing it to was a hypnotist so they didn't have the big reaction but I, I did that with a client I had um, a mallet for for a tuning fork it was I using the hard end and I banged it on the table and I thought she was going to go through the roof and all of a sudden I'm like oh, you can't do that with anxiety oh my gosh no. So be careful if you go to somebody in person, you don't know what they've learned. Um, my sessions are no longer in person. So even if you are in the UK or in California or Canada, we can still work together if you wanted to. And this stone, just holding it, I actually keep one of these next to my bed because it is a soothing stone. 
very loving, soothing stone. It's a flower agate. I really like the little, this one isn't as, you can kind of see things that look like little flowers in it. I think it's pretty. <laughs> pretty things can calm us as well. Just gonna hold my hands up again. I'm using this one because I think it's soothing, but a lot of people make comments on this particular stone um, because they like it, and I think it's because it's soothing. And it is, it is very calming. It is a type of selenite. I believe they call it golden selenite. It's actually a peachy color. And I'm just going to tap on it a little bit, I think. The tapping, the sounds that it makes are also soothing. If you don't like tapping, I will stop now. And I'm just going to take this through the screen. And this probably isn't the camera I will continue to use. There's a lot of darkening to it. It's trying to just keep everything smooth. Which may be good for those trying to sleep. So everything is going to be okay and generally don't say who requested the video, so unless you want me to name you out loud or in 
in the description. So I haven't said anything. So I want whoever would like a particular video for something in particular. You can put that in the comments. My I think my email is in the description. If not, it's in the about page on this channel. Ever have any questions about what I'm doing in these videos or about anything that I do, like hypnosis, you can contact me. Remember, I lovingly think of you all the time. Care about you. See your wonderfulness. I have helped you with your anxiety. See you next time. I'm really excited about this new box that I've put together for people who want some extra self-care and self-love. So let's take a look. And this is how it's going to, to look when you receive it. And there is a rose quartz inside the pouch. It's a raw ro rose quartz. And a couple of tea light candles that I made myself. The candles might look a little bit different from each box. But there's quartz and rose petals. This one has lavender and beautiful quartz. I've also added my favorite crystal, the selenite, a small wand, so that you can work with that and comb your your energy field or neutralize energy around you and also cleanse your crystals this i when i saw it i really wanted to put it in the box it is a holder for your tea light It is mercury glass and a rosy color on the outside. So that will come bubble wrapped as it is very dainty in its structure. There's also a stick of Palo Santos. 
and I made sure that where I got it from it was ethically sourced. And I'm having a little trouble finding that the last piece. Here we go. This will actually become coming in some cellophane or some sort of wrap so in case it drips a little bit I I don't know how it travels yet but it is moon water with black onyx just tiny little planet black onyx in there and a little lavender so just like in the videos I use I'm giving you a, a little vial of it that sprays I really like this box and I hope you do too and you can find these through my website or even Etsy. I'll give the links below.